guys. I'm joined today by another esteemed panel. We got JJ from the Gentleman's Hangout, of course, my main man, the one and only main man. We got the captain, the one and only Captain Subby on IG, guys. Be sure to check him out. He wants more fans. He wants the leads, as he calls them. And we got the one and only Swiss joining us from the Swiss and John Show. Guys, if you're not already hey guys. subscribed, be sure to subscribe. Thank you for joining me, gentlemen. What's going on, man? Uh, in the flesh. In the flesh. <laughs> Before we uh, jump into things, we're going to be talking festive wristwatches since it is the holiday season, right? Let's give everybody a quick wristwatch check. What are we wearing, gentlemen? We got the daily beater on. The daily beater. Wearing got the. I can't see it right now. The holiday root beer. Very nice. And we got the Jega Lacultra. That's platinum, or, right? In platinum. Or, yeah, in platinum. Nice. With you the guys like. You guys like sweets during the holidays? You eat a lot of uh, cookies and candies and things like that. Uh, oh, yeah, of course. I eat I eat a yeah. ton of chocolate. So I was oh. at my store and they had this huge aisle full of chocolate at like eighty percent off for you know for for Christmas. Oh, man. Yeah, Swiss, tro- Swiss <laughs> chocolate. Is the best, man. Took a huge bag. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Just <laughs> oh, Swiss. <laughs> the Swiss make the best chocolate in the world. That's why I'm wearing chocolatey goodness. <laughs> there you That's go. Enough of that for one day. I'm just gonna say hello to all the punters in the chat. We got Ali joining us, saying Die Hard is a Christmas movie. The jury's still out on that one. He says. <laughs> All those who are oh, yeah, true, true, true. SLC says upvoted and actually just ran into a guy wearing a t shirt that listed the most popular holiday movies and Die Hard was number one. It's got to be, dude, it's got to be Home Alone. Home Alone is the best Christmas movie, bar none. Nothing oh. comes close, in my opinion. Elf is like a close second. And then I, I think also the Godfather series, you know, every Christmas you got to watch the Godfather series. <laughs> I always watch Die Hard, Home Alone, and Elf. Those are the three I always want. Very nice. Very nice. We got Lou joining us saying Sinatra singing, have yourself a merry little Christmas with Michael and Kay stroll down the street. Godfather, definitely a Christmas movie. Yeah, for sure. We got your friend Mike joining us. We got Mossy in the chat saying, can we talk about the watches in Die Hard, the Christmas movie? We definitely yeah, can yeah. talk about Die Hard watches. There's a lot to feature for sure. We got the rancher saying Elf is an action movie. <laughs> <laughs> time traveler in the chat saying up oh, appreciate that danger joining us saying fat man beats die hard as a christmas movie i don't even know what is fat man, fat man. i don't know mm-hmm. i've never heard of fat man. no i never heard of it we got rajiv joining us thank you for joining us hope all is well and we got wings and watches who's reminding everybody to hit that like button guys if you haven't already so i guess we could just jump straight into the topic we're talking festive wristwatches guys I should have put a cover photo of Kevin O'Leary with the Hulk with the red band because it's about as, as festive as it gets, right? It's all about the red band. The red band. It's all about the red band. All right. So I guess we could kick it off with the first one is a Jago Lacultra Reverso. I got two. You got to get the green and the red because I think obviously green and red are very, you know, Christmassy, very holiday spirit. I think you can definitely use them for very different purposes. The mm-hmm. green one I see more is like, you know, you're sitting around the tree with the family, opening up gifts, and you're wearing that watch. It's also a good, you know, summer watch potentially. So it'll be versatile. And then the red one or the burgundy dial, you know, I see like, I don't know, let's say around a dinner table, maybe you're having a nice steak, some surf and turf, I don't know, rack of ribs. And, uh, you know, you're drinking some red wine. you got the, the red wine kind of dial. I think it's a perfect kind of pair, oh, wow. you know. I have a feeling a lot of these watches are going to be red and green. Marco. <laughs> where, do you, where do you get where do you get that idea? How did you get? You know, Marco. I got to tell you that Jaeger is uh, sorry Swiss. That Jaeger is uh, kind of like a maroonish. Is yeah, that, it's like burgundy, right? It's very much burgundy. Like wine wine. It's like a fine burgundy. Uh, I mean, if you if you look at it in real life, it's pretty much you know red, like a darker tone of red. Yep. Dark. It's not. Red. It's not like purple wine but marco you know what has to be done 
What take that the, take that that green dial and put it on a red band. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just put it on the burgundy band. Right, there exactly. You go. Two for yes. the price of one. The, the festive the exact of festive watch. Yes, that would be the most festive watch, right? Yes, yes. it would be. These are both very fall. Like this color definitely falls into the fall winter category. Yeah, absolutely. These are definitely fall winter uh, colors. So. Now that's interesting, right? Because this green is like a little bit darker. <laughs> Now, if we contrast it with like something like this, which is a little lighter, would you think this is still festive, JJ, or it's very summer? No, no, because this is not like a bright green, like um, let's say, uh, like my Oris, right? That's like a pretty bright. Well, it does fade to black, but like a Hulk, you know, that color is like kind of like a, a money green. These are more like a subdued. I would say this is quite Christmassy. You got a green dial with a red uh, second hand down there. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I could, mm. I could, I could hear some sleigh bells jingling when I'm wearing this. Right, sleigh bells jingling, <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells. I think, yeah, I think this is another one. Uh, I think you know this what this would be great with year, right? What's that? Say it again. This was released this year. Yeah, you know what this Perfect. would be great with? Perfect partner to an ugly sweater contest. Like oh shit, you're right. Oh, absolutely. This would definitely be great. Let me hit back up the chat. We got uh, Danger asking us to play the trailer. Maybe we can. I don't know if we're allowed to because we might get uh, the video taken down. Uh, they're just talking back and forth. We got Wings and Watch saying jingle all the way. So much for the destruction of a toy. Right. And we got Rinser saying Marco could really use a mic. The echo is just annoying. Okay, I'll, I'll plug in my mic. Give me a second, guys. I'll be right yeah, back. That's the funny part is uh, Marco actually does have a microphone. Yeah, it's just, it, it doesn't it doesn't work very very well. That's the problem. It doesn't really help anything. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll move on to the next one. You guys can discuss it and let me know your thoughts, and then I will get my mic. This is the next one. It's coming in is a big shocker. <laughs> I I like how we swapped them. So instead of green on the left and red on the right, now it's red on the left and green on the right. You know what? I I, I saw both uh, in real life, and both are really beautiful. And uh, in general, the um, uh, the um, what's the name of this watch? The Portuguese. Portuguese. Yeah. It is both a very respected model, a very respected design. I think it's one of those uh, timeless uh, designs that in fifty years is still gonna be pretty much the same. Uh, and uh, it is a pretty solid chronograph. Uh, it is on the big side, but it wears small, which is uh, very good. Uh, I really like it. I really like it. And it's now not you, too expensive. You saw these in person. Which out yeah. of the two was your favorite? I mean, I know it doesn't matter. The red dial. But the red. red dial, yeah. I mean, the green is beautiful, but <laughs> there's too much green out there. You know, red is, is more um, more unique. Yeah, I agree. When I see this watch, I always think of it with the blue dial, though. You know, I'm just so used to it. Like even before, like the popularity of blue dials, I just always remember this watch. I remember seeing this on like Ray Donovan. You know, him wearing it on the show. Really, he wears this. How's uh, the sound, by the way? Is this better? I think it's exactly the same. Yeah, pretty much. The echo doesn't. Really <laughs> it is what it's, it it's is. The yeah. It's the acoustics in your room. Yeah. Yes. Right. It's because I'm in a mostly empty room. That's the problem. Could it be the Could it be the volume too on the uh, on the mic? It's no, the it's the, it's the room. It's the room. Yeah, it's definitely. definitely. You got a super chat. Right. Yep. Let me get this super chat. Oh wait, dangerous has that IWC. That green IWC goes green yeah. with a tall eggnog. I agree, hundred mm -hmm. percent. We got beyond time with a five dollars super chat. Thank you very much. Saying it isn't Christmas until Hans Gruber falls off. Nakatomi Plaza, Yippie Kaye, motherfuckers. Thank you very much. Absolutely. We got the Night Wristwatch been joining us. Hope you're well, man. It says this Chrono is one of the best in the IWC catalog, suffering yes. from insomnia. If you're wondering <laughs> why I'm here, <laughs> it's too many legends in the community, you know? When you see all those amazing collections, you just you can't sleep. Out. Night. <laughs> exactly. There you go. We got Mike from Basil's Bezels on Instagram joining us. Thank you very much. Turtle Knight saying, can we change the name of the stream to Red and Green Watch? No, no, we got some We got some variety. We definitely have some variety. Um, we got Wristwatch Holic saying, I have the blue dial IWC Pilot Chrono with a bracelet. It's my daily beater. What a robust watch. Yeah, definitely, definitely. IWC is, is awesome. Yeah, no question. Speaking of IWC, just to break this up a little bit, 
The IWC <laughs> ceramic case uh, 41 mil pilot is officially gone. Yes, I. you told me about that, right? Mm. It's yeah. Officially what? Gone? It's, it's been gone. sold. Yep, it's been sold. Yes, sir. So, JJ, what's the next watch coming in now? Tomorrow, we need a new unboxing well, on tomorrow, Sunday. Monday. Tomorrow I'm selling the Seamaster, No Time to Die. There we go. Uh, I'm supposed to meet up with the guy in early afternoon. Um, and actually, Corona was pretty cool. I, can't, I didn't realize. I don't know if anyone knows out there. A little uh, tidbit for you. If you list them, you have to list exclusively for three months. Like I had one on, I had one on eBay as well, and it sold on eBay, and I canceled it. And I'm like, oh wait, I hope it. So I called up to see if I was going to be charged because I only had it up for like a day on there, and I said, you know, there was an error with the listing, but I don't know what I pressed. He's like, no, you're good, you're not going to be charged. Okay, so, very nice. Well, okay, That's right. good. Save you the bucks. We got Mossy with the two dollars super chat saying the VC 1921 pink gold red strap. Is the Christmas watch actually? I didn't put this on the list, but this could definitely be included. In my yeah, team. they did do a red. Yeah, but that's the yeah. lady size, right? That's the lady size. Oh, but they also did it for men's size. Really? Okay, I didn't know yeah. that because usually it's the red gold but, with the yeah, brown. By the brown. way, there is a thing with um, uh, with uh, Vacheron, which I really and I think most brands must do. They have a strap bar. Which basically is just a corner in their room, just de dedicated the straps, and you can oh, yeah, yeah. fully custom made the strap that you want specifically for your watch with the color, the texture, the leather, stitching, everything. They will do exactly what you demand. And it's really good. I really? think that's a service most, you know, top brands, they should, they should, they should do yeah, that. But they still don't even have yeah. quick release spring bars on their straps, which is a true, I would see. That is a trap. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's nice having a bespoke strap section. I mean, Definitely. that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think FP you can also do that with as well because they order it from a, a company. So you could probably custom make their straps. Probably, I, yeah. I mean, most independents, you could probably custom make their straps. Turtle Knight says maybe the red snowflake. Yes, the snowflake is potentially going to make an appearance. I can't confirm or deny that. <clears throat> Spoiler alert. We got Wings and Watch saying, glad to see everyone. Hope everyone has a great holiday. Oh, shit. And we got the legend, the Watch Guy Inc. in the chat. Hope you're doing well, man. Not, Happy holidays not, to you. Now that I'm thinking of it, you know what's the ultimate Christmas watch? Tell me. It's the Constantin Chaikin Santa Claus. <laughs> That's coming up, too. That is, oh, that yeah. is good. <laughs> good. Okay. So this is another red watch. But the reason I put this is not just because of the dial. It's actually the function. So a lot of people will travel dial. during the holidays, right? So it's good to have, you know, a travel watch. And that's kind of the fault I have with the Reverso is that the, both of these Reversos are just um, single sided, right? They're just one dial. They don't have a, yeah, they're not dual true. face Reversos. So you don't get the travel time function versus this, which gives you that dual time function, which is nice to have, especially during, you know, the, the holiday season if you're traveling. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, by the way, you were, you were talking, JJ, before uh, about ugly Christmas sweaters. So right. if you go on the uh, Moser website, they made a line of ugly Christmas Moser sweaters. <laughs> That's uh, cool. I, I don't know if they are, they are going to release it to the public, but if they do, I'm buying one <laughs> right now. That's great. That'll be great. That'll be great. So yeah, yeah this is another obvious pick. Now we got something the captain the captain drew up. I like this pick, actually. Me and the captain kind of co-created this list. We worked together on this. And this is one of the picks that you came up with, Cap, right? It was a lot, a lot of work, man. A lot of work went into this, right, Marco? We, <laughs> a lot of brainstorming. Brainstorming. Ten minutes, <clears throat> ten minutes an hour took before the took a couple, started. A couple of days to refine this list. Right, exactly. <laughs> Let's see. Green, red, green, red, and Snoopy. Little Omega yeah. Speedmaster. You want to talk about why you why you thought Snoopy should be included on the list? Um, sure. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious to everybody that Snoopy and and uh, Peanuts and and the whole Christmas, you know, Christmas story sure. and Christmas specials that uh, Charlie Brown has. Um, right. Snoopy's a big part of that, obviously, and uh, so I think uh, I think they fit for that reason. And uh, I guess you could make a case, you know, for the blue bezel one that that could stand on its own as a kind of Christmassy watch perhaps though it's blue and not green or red yeah so i think that. all of them definitely you gotta have snoopy yeah. gotta have snoopy yeah. 
But yeah, I think they definitely should be included in the list. No question about it. Uh, I think, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a nod to Charlie Brown, the peanuts. Like right. everybody thinks of during Christmas, that little tree, the Charlie Brown tree. You know, there's so many. Oh, you know, yeah. Ref- yeah. Reference, Christmas references to that. The tree yep. that never, the tree that always died. <laughs> I wonder if is there a Rugrats watch? <laughs> Sorry, never mind. That's a bad joke. Oh, you know what? Someone else mentioned that movie. Um, what was the one with the kid that licked the pole? A Christmas story, right? A Christmas oh, story. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a rough one. That's, that's a great movie. When he shoots himself with the BB gun, or you'll shoot your eye out, and then it ricochets <laughs> back onto the floor. And this you is know another- that there's okay. a there's a there's a movie that. My TV station always uh, shows during uh, Christmas. It's that movie about with a uh, Whoopi Goldberg where, where she turns into Santa. What's what's the name of that movie? Oh, Jesus, I have no idea. I, I don't. Well, it's a, it's like a Sister classic, Act? and every year it's it's on every year. Call me Claus. It's called. I don't I don't remember what what the name is. Let, let me search it. Yeah, it's called Call Me Claus. I just looked it up. Yeah, okay. I just Googled it. I did Google it. Bobby Google, click on the draw. This is a, now this is another watch from the captain. Cap, the Rainbow Daytona. I gotta flame you a little bit on this one. <laughs> this is not a festive watch. I mean, I understand. No, this is not a festive watch at all. I could get behind this. I said this before I was thinking about it. <laughs> this is the perfect New Thanks, Year's watch on the ball. When the ball drops on New Year's, I mean, it's not a Christmas watch, but it's still part of the, the, the holiday, holiday season. season, like to end end off. This is a, a the perfect New Year's Eve watch, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I think it was like a holiday kind of. This is a holiday theme, not just to, you know. Yeah, it, it covers all the different holidays that everyone celebrates, and this is just like bam, you know, like this doesn't really show off the lights of all the different diamonds and the. Uh, you know, I mean, it'll definitely variations. start your your holiday off holidays off with the bang, right? The New Year off hey, with man. the bang. You get you get one of these in your stocking at retail. You're having a good. You, you had a good Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I want to be You've part of that well. family. Jesus right, Christ! Exactly. <laughs> the closest I'll see to this one is hanging on my wall behind me, and that's about the closest I'll get. Turtle Knight saying Snoopy is a Christmas copping. <laughs> Hashtag Snoopy X Die Hard crossover. Yeah, I don't think I won't be holding my breath for that one. We got Shot in the Dark joining us. Mossy Hello, showing Shaw. his disapproval. Captain, no. <laughs> we got Daniel Katz in the house saying, Call me Klaus. Call me Klaus. Yeah, that's the movie. Right. With a whoopee gold. Call cool. me Klaus. <laughs> oh, yes. They're like Christmas lights. The bezel is like Christmas lights, Cap. There you go. Multicolored that, Christmas lights. That's exactly think? right. I think that's perfect. That's, think, that's what you uh, thought about, right? Mike for bezels and bezels. Right. Wings just said it, right? It. Sitting by a Christmas tree. You know what I mean? You're sitting by a Christmas tree with the rainbow Daytona, you know? Sipping on think, sip it, sipping on the blood of your enemies because you're so successful. <laughs> I'm not just kidding. <laughs> I thought you were going to say sipping on gin and juice or something. But uh, <laughs> I got to say... You know, look, what we should do after all this, pick our favorite, maybe a top three, a top three. Let's do it, yeah. You, you know what I would like to see? I should ask a design atelier to do this. I would like to see like a billionaire j- get just all the Rainbow Daytonas and make a Christmas tree with the Rainbow Daytonas hanging hanging <laughs> on the branches. <laughs> <laughs> just the ultimate flex. <laughs> we got Big Sal in the chat joining us. Good evening, all. Big Sal, Big very Sal. obviously happy, happy holidays to you, man. Hope all is well. Wish you lots of uh, health and happiness in the new year. We got Kelly from On Our Own Time joining us. Same, same kind of, same kind of well wishes, man. Wishing you obviously very merry Christmas, happy holidays to everybody in the chat as well. We got the Night Wrist Watchman with the one pound seventy nine saying seasons greetings to the legendary panel. Thank you very much. Here, I'll drop the link if anybody wants to Thank jump you. on. I don't know if I dropped. Thank you. Glad he, glad he stayed up to get those. Uh, okay, Cap. I can kind of get behind this. It's growing Good. on me as a Christmas All right. watch. I Should we so. move on I, to the next one? Yeah. I mean, I know Absolutely. it's not red or green, but you know. <laughs> put it put it on a red band. And there you yeah, go. Yeah, put it on a red band. On a red band. What do you think? Red rubber bee. Oof. Rubber. Sac- sac- rubber. Cap, this is an... But this is, doesn't have the. It, this needs the red band, right? 
This needs the the Kevin. This on the red band, it's it's a Christmas. The uh, ultimate Christmas watch. Yeah, definitely the Christmas Rolex. The Hulk on a red band. <laughs> this was another pick by the captain. I I, I took no part in this pick. I didn't. Even yeah. th- this is more of a summer watch. Yeah, it, it is. It is. This, yeah, this is not. This is not ticking my box. I'm sorry, Cap. Before I got behind you, this one, I don't know. Yeah, no. no this I, I like that one. I like. Oh, I like it. I just don't see the Christmas in it. Oh, I. I, I, I think it. the green. You know, it's so it's yeah. green on green. You know, a Christmas tree is green. You know, just trees and <laughs> like winter winter forests or the pine elf needles. Is green. It's the, the elf, elf is watch. green. It's the but elf I do, watch. I will agree though that on uh you know on a red rubber B, Mister Wonderful style. Um, we, we should <laughs> rename this the Elf. <laughs> would would not would would look a little bit ridiculous, but I think it might then qualify. Here we go. Moss is saying the Hulk makes the rainbow look more of a great choice. Well played, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a- Moss <laughs> if it was We're playing three D chess, if it was right. more of a forest green, I could get behind this. But I don't know. I feel like it's a different kind of green. But totally. All right. JJ, I'm just trying to questions. I'm just trying to push that price up because I know you uh you and I both have them in the uh in the vault in the safe. That's box. right, guys. If you don't have a Hulk, now is the best time to get one. <laughs> right. Your just best time to get one was yesterday when the price was <laughs> was the cheapest it will ever be. I think this has got to make the list, right? It, I don't know about oh, the white snowflake. birch, maybe not the white birch, but definitely the snowflake. It still gives off that snowy vibe. Either. Yeah, right. That's 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 what I think, right? I think the white birch still definitely makes the list. I don't know. Let's get that. Yes. Let's get the chat's opinion. What do you guys think in the chat? I think the Marco, snowflake, no question. But Marco, I was just thinking, if you buy a Hulk, the price will go up to seventy thousand dollars. That's right. That's right. That's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> I got to do it after I pay my taxes, JJ. How's that? Yeah, yeah. Make sure my IRS my seventy thousand in taxes. <laughs> Since yeah, I made. I, Sorry. This reminds me of a snowy winter. I could definitely get behind this one. Right. Now, yeah. I think the snowflake dial, right, was it, like it was uh, inspired by, what's it called? The snow top on a mountain, right? Right outside the yes. Grand Seiko offices. Yeah, mm-hmm. so this is definitely more of like a Christmas-inspired or holiday festive season type watch. No question. The white birch, eh. Maybe it's a bit of a stretch. We got R2K saying, Happy Christmas, fellas, to you as well, man. Wishing you all the best in the new year, of course. We got Turtle Knight saying, Maybe the red snowflake looks more Christmas. Well, what about the sky flake? That blue? Light blue? Yeah. Hmm. It's like a light blue. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't include it on the list. It's more of a summer watch, the sky flake. Right. Right. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. I think we're we're agreed on this one. I think this is pretty obvious. Now, this is another one from the captain. (laughs) (laughs) i don't know what he was thinking choosing these but hey a lot of people get tiffany for christmas right that was the idea i I, not the grenade or not the the, no the grenade is the uh aquanaut right what do they call this one the grenade yeah yeah not not the green one so much i would say for me the tiffany was the christmas choice because of tiffany right who doesn't love that little blue box at christmas or who's getting any, Tiffany, guys? Holiday. Who's got? Hold on a second. <laughs> Who here gets t- presents from Tiffany? I never got no presents from <laughs> Tiffany. What the hell? No. <laughs> you buy the you buy the presents but, for for the for the ladies for the ladies. They get the uh, Tiffany box. Yeah. The thing so, is, if you get this watch for Christmas, you're having the best Christmas ever. That's the point. <laughs> uh, uh, oh boy we got the night wrist watchman saying snowflake dials mesmerizing birch is just nice looking yeah i agree the only problem with the snowflake i have man is that bracelet it's just not like it feels you know it just doesn't feel good. and even titanium i don't know what it is guys i can't get behind titanium it's like it doesn't have the luxurious mm, head me neither it doesn't feel luxurious, you know what I mean? Even though I know it's expensive and it's a quality wristwatch, it just doesn't feel it. Like it doesn't yeah. have that reassuring. You, you know, I tried. I tried once the the Octo Finissimo uh, in full ceramic. Yeah. It is, you know, black. It is beautiful, but it feels because they have it. It has a very glossy uh, finish. The ceramic, it feels like plastic. Like really felt like plastic the weight of plastic the touch of plastic you know because it's not uh, it's kind of warm to the touch not like metal more like plastic and i'm like i mean it's a twenty-five thousand dollar watch it feels like plastic 
even though it's you know ceramic. But I could get people who like that. Uh, I don't really. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I don't know if I can get the behind the finismo at all, to be honest with you. Now, let me ask Swiss. You'll probably know this, right? The Bulgari Octo Finissimo. Who hmm. who designed that watch? Do you remember? I uh, it was, no, I can. Was it Genta? I, I think it, it was. I think it was Genta. No, Genta did the Octo. Yeah, oh, he did the Octo. Oh, he did the Octo. Okay. So. I like the Octo Roma the best. I think that one's really nice. See, because I heard, you know who I heard, right? It's kind of tied into the story of the Cartier crash was that Dolly helped to make the Salvador Dolly, helped to make the the Bulgari Octo Finissimo, or maybe he made a version of it. Maybe I'm confusing the story. And then, what? you know, kind of uh, the CEO of Cartier was very jealous at the time of that fact that, you know, Bulgari was working with Salvador Dali because he was a big fan of them. So that's why he made the crash. And then obviously there's the crash story, but yeah, I don't know who made so it. So it says uh, Antoine Pin, managing director of the Bulgari division, acknowledges that his team has achieved a truly singular design with the Octo Finissimo. So it is the Bulgari team. I think okay. there's, there isn't so the like Octo a specific is Genta, designer. Genta, but I guess- Octo is Genta, yeah, yeah, definitely. But they basically did like with the offshore. The team made like a, right. a revamp of the of the. Right, right. Of Can the I ask you guys a question just to back up a little bit here? Sure, sure. Because um, we 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 almost. Uh, yeah, Masi says the Octa Roma World Time is nice. Uh, I agree. I like the Octa Roma. Um, as far as Grand Seiko, do you think the Snowflake is the watch to get, or? Ooh, that's a tough one. I think there's a couple here. We can we can pull some up. We'll take a break from this. Well, right. it's definitely trading over list. If that's the question. <laughs> oh, it is. I don't. I don't even know what list price is on that. On the... Yeah, it's definitely over over list. It's the most. You know, it's the most recognized Grand Seiko. It's definitely the by icon, far. right? Of the by line. far, yeah, by far. Yeah, I think this one is also. We love this one, right, JJ? I I yeah. love that one. That's so yeah. good. I think this is another great one. Um. Marco, by the way, just, just real quick, see. they're asking yep. uh, you to switch me with Captain so they could see his face. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Here we go. There you go. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Um, Big Sal says, another good one is the Breitling Heritage 2 Limited Rainbow. I'll pull that up in a second. Uh, so that's a good one. I think that as uh, BGM 235, that's my favorite Grand Seiko because that Whirlpool dial, guys. It's all about that dial. I love these dials from Grand yeah, Seiko. Yeah, this one's, this is nice. I think this is spectacular. Um, what's mm. another? I think the Peacock, right? Grand Seiko Peacock. Yeah, Peacock is really nice. I think their GMTs are really stand. They are what stand out in the range. Um, this is yep. nice. The Alma Utari. What do you guys think about that one? Yeah, it's good too. Yeah. yeah. Not my favorite, to be honest. It's not my favorite. I know it's that too jo simple. Jonathan what? loves it. Which one? This um, one here? No. Oh, okay. That was the one they, they designed after the lake. I, I don't like that one only because I, I really wouldn't get a high beat personally. I, I don't, I'm not, Actually, I don't really do I like that? the case. I wouldn't get a spring drive. Yeah, me neither. For the record. But for the record. this one is really good because it's no date and uh, Grand Seiko always puts a date or power reserve or something that bothers me. This one is, mm -hmm. has a very clean dial, but the case I don't really enjoy. I like this one as well. This is really stunning. Even though I know you don't like the power reserve, it is symmetrical, right? Because they have it on both sides. But the 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 dial, it looks like it has a, a furry pattern. Look, it <laughs> it's like really nice, fur. actually, in person. <laughs> it looks like fur. You, you, you actually, you got to see this one in person, I think. But yeah, I think anything with like like logos or Whirlpool dials, those are really the standout from Grand Seiko. It's all about the dial. Right. I you mean, know, that's what they're known for, right? I'm not sure if this is tech technologically feasible. I'm sure it is with everything that uh, <clears throat> is happening. What about doing a power reserve where they have a, the power reserve like in a circular format? Like they, so in other words, like a chronograph, like, like has two register chronographs or the, mm -hmm. the two sub registers. And you have a power reserve that's actually a circle. 
so that you have that symmetry and you have a power yeah, reserve like, in a circle. So like the Lange up down? Yes. The Lange up down, you know, he has one, it's the small second, the other one, it's mm -hmm. a power reserve. Totally doable. It's totally doable. So totally, yeah. If they did that on the Grand Seiko, maybe it would be a different look than the just having that power reserve kind of the standard way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll take a gummy and be right back. <laughs> <laughs> we got little 79 saying, can't sleep looking at Oyster Perpetual 36 white from 2019 for 8200 It's expensive. 8200 for a white dial OP is fucking... That's... <laughs> Oh, I got that Swiss. one for six thousand. Swiss is the head of the curve. R2K you got saying, the... "I used to not care about the fifty-seven eleven, but after seeing it, trying it on in person, I really see. I had the opposite. Like I tried this on years ago, right? A fifty-seven twelve, and then I tried on basically every Nautilus under the sun, other than a fifty-nine ninety in London, and I still don't like the Nautilus. Like I, I honestly, I started to appreciate the Royal Oak a lot more." Um, but the Nautilus, I still, man, I still prefer the overseas and the Aquanaut. They're still my two favorites. So the, the, the 5711 in steel, I don't really enjoy. I think it's too bland. The, the case, it, it, it is not good enough to carry the, the watch into itself. Uh, the dial is bland. I, to me, at least, uh, the one that really struck me was the, the white gold perpetual, because the the dial is beautiful, a very nice proportionate uh, design with the perpetual calendar. The case, because it's in white gold, feels really good. It's very comfortable. So uh, that would be my pick. Well, you know, if I could get one. <laughs> so I have a couple problems with it, right? For one, so actually, I agree with you on the precious metal also because the clasps are different on the precious metal. Yes. Right? So the clasps are much better. The quality of construction is a lot better, and it's also more flexible. So you have, like, some adjustment, uh, so to speak, on it. Um, but I don't know. And steel, it's just – I don't – the Nautilus just doesn't do it for me. I don't understand why. I, I just – I can't get behind it. Bright Blue like comments saying – Good evening and happy holidays. holidays. Hello, Wings. Same hey, thing, man. Wings. What's up, boy? What's up, boy? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Bright Blue Comet is enjoying his peacock, I hope. We got the captain, angry captain. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is Oompa Loompa captain. Right oh, now. here we go. We got I'm Design Atelier. Mode. He's about to meme the shit out of you now. <laughs> Design yeah. Atelier will meme you. Catch, catch me if you can, but I guess it's recorded, so. Right. I'm screwed. Whew. Now that's a piece. Yeah. Oh, oh. But I, again, I still can't get behind the Nautilus. I don't know what it is. Oh, too I, bad I, it I, I tried to love it. Oh, there we go. Look See, at that. that. You can justify the money. I mean, in, in a sense. That one is really, really beautiful. Yeah. This one I really like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't have the picture of Mr. GMT from this morning, Swiss. Uh, that, what's his name? Uh, Design I tell you did that's uh, on my other computer. That was a good one. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was a really good one. <laughs> I don't even know what was going on this morning on Perth Channel. But... Oh by the way, Design Atelier, I just shared an idea of uh, having a Christmas tree with a bunch of rain rainbow daytonas hanging from the branches. Right, as ornaments, right? As the the, the best uh, Christmas tree ever. Here we go. We got Eric King Ben joining us saying, what's up, guys? Hope you're well. Of course, you. happy holidays to you, Eric King Ben. And we got this right here. We got the Constantin Cheaikin. I just butchered the name, but it's all good. This is literally the Santa watch, right? This is actually released this year, which is awesome. I want now, the vampire one? one. What's the vampire one? The Dracula one, right? I love that one. Or is oh, yeah, that's another one? one. You know what I, think... I really like? It's is even the strap one? continues the design. It right. has a... Yeah. His beard, beard and his uh, little hat. Yeah. Did he ever make amazing. a reindeer watch? I want to see a reindeer version. Oh my god. <laughs> Actually. That would be funny with horns sticking out the side of the watch. Maybe oh, he yeah. makes the crowns as the horns. It, it's funny. I didn't even know that he made the Santa Claus one until you told me. I, I was just right. assuming that he just had that mouse one because it was released in the winter. But 
Yeah, I'm curious right. to see if there's a reindeer. You're right. Maybe yep. ma he could do like the like the the minotaur, where the horn <laughs> of the beast is the 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 upper lugs. You saw that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. So he can he can make antlers for lugs. <laughs> We got Michael Sugar joining us. Hope you're well, man. Of course, want to wish you a very Soup. happy holidays. Super happy chat. holidays, Super Michael. Chat. Yes, sir. Super Hope chat. all is Super well. Chat. Super chat. <laughs> okay. Here we go. He's little is asking what premium is acceptable for 36 mil OP. Looks to be difficult under 45 to 50 percent nor. So if you're looking for a 36 mil, I don't understand why you don't just get on a on a wait list at an AD, you know what I mean? I don't think they should be that hard to get, can they? If you're not getting the turquoise OP and you're getting a 36 mil, it shouldn't be that hard at all. Yeah, I would get on a wait. I wouldn't pay a premium for that. It's a three-hander entry-level Rolex. I would never pay a premium for that. I, that's just my opinion, personally, personally. We got Big Sal with the $5. Thank you very much for the Super Chat. Saying perfect Christmas watch, Tokyo Olympic Speedy with the white dial and red. Shit, I, we forgot about that one, Cap. Fuck. Wait, you're muted, Captain. Yep, you're absolutely right. And I think uh, we saw one, right? Absolutely. Posted today? Yeah, actually, Bahrain watch perfect. collector, right? Yep. He posted that, yep. Damn. Oh, that is a perfect watch. Oh, man. Fuck, Tokyo I should have remembered that. Speedy. How did I get that? <laughs> you know what? Because we were we were on the – we we covered Speedy with the uh, Snoopies. Right, the Snoopies, yeah. right? We didn't think about it anymore. Yeah. But yeah, Big Sal, hundred percent, totally agree with you. That's gotta be that's gotta be in the list. We got Phil Marceau joining us, saying Chaken designs have quickly established their identity. Curious to see what yeah. comes up. Yeah, man, he's making some seriously impressive stuff, man, and, and but, I like it because they're very fun and whimsical, and they're you totally know unique. even even the complications. He he's making some unique things. He he made for oh, only watch the the yeah. Mars calendar. Yep. So it was the Martian, and it had a calendar which is designed to work on Mars. Mm -hmm. How cool is that? It's pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. We got the Rangers fan, 1994, saying he upvoted. Thank you very much. Guys, if you haven't hit that like button, please do so. Really, really does help with the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> we got Mr. GMT reminding everybody to stay sexy. Appreciate that. Really hey, appreciate boys. <laughs> stay sexy, my friend. <laughs> Oh boy, we got bright blue comments saying for all the discussion about getting rulers, how come there's so little on the paddock process? Any experience? Uh, and I don't think there's really any. It depends what you're looking for, right? Well, there's much less people who are into getting petecks, you know. Right, that's just the first... because it's twenty thousand dollars the entry point. <laughs> yeah, so for one, it's a lot more expensive, right? But if you're getting a Calatrava. Listen, I don't think they're going to start interviewing you, right? If you want to get a no. free hand Calatrava, right? Unless you want a weekly. So I actually, I got yeah, a friend. Yeah, that'll be a different. I, I got a friend who who got in, who is looking into getting an Aquanaut. Uh, so he went to the AD. That was like a year ago. He went to the AD and he said, you know, I, I would like, you know, in the foreseeable future, future get, uh, he wants specifically the, the GMT, mm -hmm. uh, the dual time Aquanaut. <laughs> Uh, and he and he asked, you know, the AD, like maybe, maybe you put me on the list for, a, you know, Calatrava. He he also likes those, uh, so he would get maybe a, a, in one or two years, uh, he would get a Calatrava, and then one or more two years, he would get the Aquanaut. And uh, the the sales guy, he was like, you know what? Yeah, that's that's pretty reasonable. That's pretty cool. And uh, so he, he already has his plan, you know, made. So right. first, Calatrava. Second, Aquanaut. Yeah, I think also when it comes to the paddock process, right? So when you're starting, if you're starting at kind of the entry level, I don't really think there's that stringent. You know, people are going to be pretty open, right? Because you're you're just starting out. I think it's once you get into the grand comps, that's really when you start getting, you know, kind of like Jonathan, when he got the HE, right? They start asking you questions um, because they're, you know, they're just not easy pieces to get, right? Um, they're just very difficult for, for them to 
Yeah, I got the job interview to get a basic royal oak. So. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's another one. I didn't. We got make little the cut. seventy-nine. They're wild. So even if they are wild, I mean, I still I wouldn't pay a premium for a thirty-six mil P. You can one hundred percent. You should be able to get that at retail, in my opinion. Oh, listen. I think it, I think it depends. A year, I don't see but, a scenario where you don't get it. Depends on the color too, though. Cap, right? you've got a root beer in two weeks. You should be. You should be saying. You know what I mean? Like, no, I'm so saying actually, it, depends on the, it depends on the color, though. Like, you know, the root beer. Right, but it's white dot. The watch, but white dot. He said white dot, right? No, then, uh, white dial is discontinued. No. So silver. Let's say silver. Oh, silver. He could get. Easy. I would think. So. Yeah. There's yeah, no absolutely. question he should be able to get it. The, yeah. So there, there is a, a, a friend of mine who actually, he got the call this Christmas for the green dial. And uh, he said, uh, you know what? I'm going to change for the, um, the blue one. So he refused the green dial and he wants the turquoise. Uh, and they said uh, it would be uh, one more year of wait. Uh, question for the panel. Did, do we know if Rolex will? Because I had heard uh, different things about them swapping. They will dial. up their prices. Yeah, dial swapping. I don't know actually. I haven't heard any follow up regarding that. I can get back to you on that. So you know what? Uh, I know that it is possible, but I am really surprised that we don't see that many people doing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know that it's possible <laughs> because they offered me to do it. Yes, but the thing is, right? Is how much. Are they offering it like so liberal? You know what I mean? Mm, right. Like uh, to what extent Probably. are they offering? Yeah. Because Is it just that... any customer out on the street or what are we talking, right? So you buy a wall. You're a customer. You buy the watch from them. They're, you don't service it anywhere else. And I've heard that if you if you offer it with a service, like if you get it serviced, not that you'll need to get a new watch serviced, but they may want you to have a service to swap a dial. I just heard this, but it was relating to like an older Daytona hmm. uh, that, that uh, someone was suggesting. I think it was a dealer on, on a YouTube uh, <clears throat> stream or a video that you could swap one dial for the other, one dial that's more coveted than the other. Um, oh, for the Tiffany dial, uh, you, can, you can trade down from a Tiffany dial, but you can't move up to a Tiffany dial now. I think it was something like that. Oh, okay. That, see, Pro now that would make did. sense. Yeah, that right. would make that sense. That would make sense yeah. that they would put the kibosh on, uh, on a Tiffany. Because I know that for the first year, so all the way up to October, November, they had an embargo. They were like, mm -hmm. no, no, no trading up to a color, colorful dial. But after that, in theory, they should be able to do it. But yeah, uh, as you said, we we don't see that much, uh, and probably they quickly, you know, <laughs> ended doing this practice. This practice, yeah. Yeah, I would think so. Well, my my question is: Are they more um, uh, open to do it on the present uh, models rather than like the day date specifically? Because that one comes with a uh, bunch of dials rather than the uh steel sports mm. so i mean if you can only persuade them for that then i can see why it's not done as often because you know it's it would be quite expensive for one of those i i don't think it's that expensive i think it's like 500 dollars. well it is expensive but you know Relatively it could entire, entirely change the, the, the price of your watch. Right. right. For a $30,000, $40,000, yeah. whatever they're trading it, uh, yeah. Tiffany dial. Or, they're, yeah, they're, they're not going to allow Tiffany. I can't imagine they would. Yeah, no, because if they did, uh, it would kill the secondary market, like, instantly. Well, uh, I mean, even, like, the... Yeah, but you know what? They don't, care, they don't care about the secondary market. That would be the ultimate F. No, they do. They, they do. do, they do, they You're absolutely right. do. <laughs> but in, well, in public, they have to say they don't, but they love that. They, do they want it that extreme, though? Uh, oh, yeah, of course. Every every luxury brand wants, wants uh, you know, extreme it's the flex. 
yeah, yeah extreme they're not, uh, exclusivity pri price appreciation but they're not benefiting from that i guess they are yeah, but what they are benefiting they are they are, have they crazy what they are benefiting this. are is they're sold out for the next 10 years yes. and yeah. they can do a seven percent or five percent or four percent right. increase guaranteed and still be sold out for the next 10 years so hmm. yeah the secondary I, I, market is very good for any uh maker of anything it's not just that, JJ. They're also able to push out the door. Like I was at the AD, right, last week. And he even said, like, we had a lady's 31 mil full gold date just with diamond bezel for 40,000 Canadian, right? He's like, I never thought we would have ever sold that watch. And we literally just sold it, you know, two weeks ago. It's the last one that we had, right, the last actual model. So they're able to sell watches that normally, you know, they wouldn't probably never sell or almost never sell. Right, watches that ads are heavily discounting. Yep, they, they used to sit in the counter, and then when you came in, they would discount them thirty percent easy. Mm -hmm. Right, little saying discontinued the white, but okay with black, blue, or green for me. So blue and green might be like a little bit longer of a wait, but you can still probably get on a wait list. Black, there shouldn't be a problem. You know what I mean? That you should be able to get that relatively easily. Alrighty, let's see what the next one is. I don't know about these ones. Oh these ones God. are a little dodgy. Jade, Jade, and Pijol. Ruby. Yeah, Jade and Ruby. Nah, these is, are a bit more dodgy. You. Yeah, you these are a bit more that. dodgy. I thought I'd just include them just because, you know, they're red and, and green. But, yeah, I don't really see them as Christmas watches, to be honest. So that Jade Tourbillon F. Pigeon is uh, Tim Musso's F favorite F. Pigeon. Yeah, I mean, that dial must be insane to, to make. <laughs> like, How about the dial? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could just imagine cutting jade and then polishing it right to the extent that they do. Uh, so actually, I think it, it it wouldn't be more difficult than, uh, you know, enamel or something crazy like that. You think so? Enamel uh, would, would be much more fragile than, uh, you know, a, a stone. Yeah, it's yeah. possible. Because enamel is is basically like porcelain, like yeah, right, <laughs> right. It's super super delicate. Yeah. Okay, we can move on because yeah, I don't I don't really see a super big connection, but this one I think is cool. So I see this watch as like you know, it kind of reminds me of like train sets, right? It's like very mechanical looking, like the train sets going around a tree. I I, I don't really know to be honest with you what I was thinking adding this to the list, but I think it's still I think it's still cool. <laughs> I think oh, it's still a cool festive watch, you know? This is another one that looks like a bicycle to me. It does. <laughs> I, I, I thought the same thing, the bicycle <laughs> watch. I think the Jorn belongs on it more than this, if I had to, like, pick one of the two. Just because it's a Jorn, and it's got that jade green. Yeah, what size like, is this one? It looks bigger in this photo than I normally do. Let's see, Accutron. I thought they were small. Accutron. I don't even know. That, that is a good question, JJ. Let me what tell you. What about the Jorn on the red band? The Jorn is 40 mil, right? A absolutely Christmas. That's. I, I think see. it's 39. It's possible. Uh, Mike, uh, Basils and Bezels, I believe, has one. Right. The yeah. uh, No, no, the Actron. <laughs> <laughs> he says 42. 42, he 42, says. 42, man. Okay. I thought this. I thought this was small. Maybe I'm thinking of the old, the vintage ones. Yeah, the vintage ones are much smaller, no question. But yeah, I, I think these these can fall in the festive category, in my opinion, because of that connection. You know what I mean? But it's a very slim. It's like a, you know, figment of my it's imagination. A it's, a it's a huge stretch. Yeah, Grass <laughs> it's okay, but I still like it. Grasping at straws. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I have to include this one for the captain. Oh. Oh my God! Go ahead, Cap. I want to hear it. The, the batoon. The batoon. That's right. Mm. The batoon. The batoon. The batoon. The batoon. Starry Varius. Milky Way dial. I think right. it's uh, silver, silver or gold. Uh, the it's dial. It's gold. No, it's, gold. it's gold. blue gold. titanium, gold dust, the gold flex. Hand gold. applied gold yep. dots. Did you know they made a gold Accutron for like 20 grand, by the way? What? Really? Are you joking? Yeah, 196 on watches of Switzerland. Okay. Turtle Knight is saying, please explain. So here's what my thinking, right? And I agree with Captain is that, you know, in the winter or like the holiday season, it's like you can see the night sky, right? The Most stars cool. are a lot brighter. 
And that's kind of the idea, right? That connection to the night sky, the stars, uh, especially during the holiday season. You know what I'm saying? The white around it, like the snow around your feet. <laughs> no, turtle, turtle yes. night. Let, let's let me explain it like in layman's terms. We wanted to get some independent, and this debatune is in terms of debatune, <laughs> my favorite, my favorite watch. So we're we're creatively structuring an right. argument. Exactly, to, we're, trying, we're trying. We're <laughs> trying. If you want to hear a, a a funny thought, so to me this reminds me of the, <laughs> you know, uh, Santa Claus. Um, a uh, flying uh, carriage uh, oh, pulled yeah. by the reindeer. It's it leaves like a trail of pixie dust. That's what exactly. that's what it looks like. You know, Santa has been just that's through right. this dial, and you can that's see right. the trail of pixie dust. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's a, yes. That's a great one. That's even a better explanation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Awesome. Phil says yeah. the IWC Beirut edition. Yeah, definitely. I mean, green dial, red hand. This is definitely a no-brainer. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. no question that would definitely make the list yeah. and that one looks good on a red strap Ooh, look at this mossy space dust is magical like the holidays there you go there it is it. turtle night saying swiss saved the day totally so for <laughs> the same reason swiss just said i think aventurine dials right aventurine dials can be kind of festive right oh yeah 100 so, percent Oh, oh, if you can, if you can the pull up the one from Kevin on the red band, oh my god! Yes. To be that honest, is, it's one of the most beautiful watches I've ever seen. That is going to be such an uber collectible watch. Damn. It's, it's the oh yeah. Original eleven fifty nine perpetual calendar, right? Uh, yeah. It's going to be got, uber collectible. I actually got the hold one uh, when they first came out. Um, oh, it's my absolute favorite, and. All this time, a lot of people were were knocking it. I'm glad to see it's getting some recognition. So, but no, the this thing one, is, this one's awesome. The the mm -hmm. thing is, they had, you know, uh, pretty much. The the thing is, it was very underwhelming. However, this one, this uh, perpetual calendar adventuring dial, was you know from the get go extremely popular. Yeah. It sold out pretty quickly, actually. It sold out immediately, you know. Yeah, yeah. it sold out because they didn't want to yeah. get the other ones. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but literally. You wanted to yeah. get this over to get the Royal Oaks, right? Yeah, because the regular eleven fifty nines, at least the original ones, were just yeah, yeah, yeah they were not. Yeah, good. these ones were the, were of the original uh, production run, right? So, yeah. Yes. You know what's another one though I like is the skeleton tourbillon. <laughs> Maybe you don't like it, but I I, think I like it's it. Pretty we nice bring it up. I like sure. it too. Please think. Both, both, of those, to... both, both of those are uh, beautiful watches. I think it's one of the most beautiful skeleton watches ever made. Not this one. This one right here. That's a bad picture. Let me get a facing one. Here we go. I think it's really nice. Listen, it's no AP double balance wheel open worked, but I think yeah. it's still cool. Nah. It's cool. I, I can't. Is it a pass cap? Uh, Are you passing on it? Uh, probably, because I'd like to. I'd like the uh, double balance wheel open worked. I mean, this is look at this. This is a finish as, as a grail, but the movement's gorgeous. I mean, obviously. Yeah. I still think it's cool. So it's got it it's is. got my stamp of approval. Cool, I, I I'd prefer it in the cool, uh, with the silver case, but yeah, it's cool, man. Uh, but, I saw Marco kissing Santa Claus <laughs> <laughs> underneath the mistletoe. Come on, a little festivities for the show, Marco. You know, <laughs> right? We're gonna start singing "Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle All the Way." Guys, if you want to hear us sing, super chat the song that you'd like to hear, and we'll sing it. Right. <laughs> I want to sing, JJ, come back. Because we're, we're not doing all any singing. All me. <laughs> You're right. That's what I want to sing, JJ. What do you think? And then I think this is the last one. I have no idea what my inspiration, but this picture wow. just looks really yeah. nice. Um, so I picked it. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> what, what do you what? think? Is this a Christmas uh, watch or holiday season? Festive. The surrounding picture is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it looked cool. So I said, I the thing is, you could get this as a gift, but 
other than that, I don't. Exactly. It's a great stocking stuff. Oh, right? yes. But you know what? We probably could have come up with the, some of the Cassie Oak and pick out like the most Christmassy Cassie Oak color oh, combination. Yeah, yeah that's great, one. right? Yeah. For a stocking a stuffer. <laughs> yeah, most likely the red. Yep. Or the one they came out with, the rainbow colored one. Big on that rainbow thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, let's see this. SBGN 017. Let us see. Let us see. Uh, Quartz, though. Uh, I don't see it. As a fest wintry, yes, but not festive, right? Super chat. Super chat, super chat. We got R2K 2007 with the five bucks saying, JJ, come back. You can blame it all on me. <laughs> Love that song. <laughs> oh. I need to learn the full lyrics, JJ. I wouldn't yeah, mind this if it yeah. didn't have the uh, the blue. <laughs> Please don't <laughs> sing it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I could sing it even better if you want. I can actually try. <laughs> So but yeah, please don't. please don't. Right. <laughs> so those are the those are the holiday festive watches, guys. What do we think of the list? Very you know what? Like uh, so actually, when I got my um, my uh, uh, JLC, it was you know around uh, around Christmas and New Year's Eve, and uh, they offered me um, you know that red band right there with it mm. that I kept for a. Uh, for a long time on my JLC and I, I found a photo of it and uh, maybe you can tell me what you think of it. <laughs> now that is a festive watch. There we go. Yeah. I like it. So actually it was so good uh, that uh, this, this, this photo was taken in summer. So I, I kept this band for like six months because I had so many people uh, giving me compliments on the red band, not on the watch. <laughs> we got Todd Levin in the chat saying a very happy, healthy, and safe uh, new year to everyone. Warmest regards, Todd. Same to you, Todd. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate that. Thank you. He's, He's giving you the lyrics, too. Though. Oh, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> JD, come back. Any kind of fool could see. No, I'm not going to say this. You yeah. won't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you can you go back to Turtle Knight for one second? Um, of course, he, a, of course. He, he he invoked my name in a, in a comment. The root beer it rhymes with reindeer. Cap Captain walks into AD asking for the Christmas watch. AD asks what watch. Captain responds, "The root beer it rhymes with reindeer." Now, here's the thing I thought of, Marco. Here's my surprise Christmas watch. Ready? Okay. And there's a, and there's a reason for it. And of course, it is the root beer. Um, oh, the chocolatey goodness. Exactly. Yeah. It's and the reason why, because it's chocolate, it reminds you of hot cocoa and chocolate Ooh. in and wintry vibes. Nice. Yes. And, and that, that rose just, is not, very warm. It's it very is warm. warm and it's not just because I have it, it's because it's true. Mm. It's very chocolate, like Swiss chocolate, like hot cocoa. Like Rolex. I want to get some of that Godiva. What's the best Swiss chocolate? Lint? Lint, Godiva? yeah. Dude, I've been... Uh, uh, Lint. So Sprüngli is even better. But it's basically Lint. Lint? Got... There's a specific one. Sea salt and caramel? Amazing, Captain. It's fucking amazing. I'm, they put I'm these fresh a... caramel uh, with salt. I like caramel. I love caramel. And salty. It's delicious. The sea salt and the chocolate always gives me like... I don't like to mess with my chocolate. I like it pure. Mossy. Yes. Yeah. I had that picture somewhere. It's actually probably yeah. on my Instagram. Yeah, let me pull it yeah, up. Yeah, while Marco's looking for that, I got a question for you. When yes. you picked up the root beer, did he ask you what do you want next and like put you on a list for the next item, or did you just um, off like? No, I'm not currently. On, I'm not on a list for the next item. But so, when I tried on the all gold uh, Submariner, which is, you know is really not something that I I'm looking to get, he said maybe that could be the next one. So he did. He did kind of hint that there would be a next one, and uh, oh, you know nice. we had a nice, yeah, we had a nice chat on the way out. Now watch, he's gonna. I don't know what to do if he calls me with the all gold. I'll have to probably pass on it. But I <clears throat> want a black Daytona, black dial. <laughs> I gotta tell you, man. I mean, a Daytona. 
could could be yeah. would uh, the, the panda on the red band would that be festive you know with the red, they it turn it look like this yeah, yeah this is definitely yeah, festive right this is like santa yeah, claus yes. poses on a watch actually it is a great choice marco did you just did someone uh did you just pull this yeah, up? this is mossy mossy okay here we go what do we think <laughs> You know it's funny. It this is. picture is where I got. What, what's that picture on the left? <laughs> oh, this one right here. <laughs> oh, this is great, actually. I'll be right Wait, back. What are these watches? This is a black Daytona, and that's a Sea Dweller. No, not the. It's the fiftieth anniversary, but not the fiftieth. Not a Mark One dial. Mm. This swatch. Wait, which swatch? I don't know which swatch he's referring to. Oh, the, I think he meant this watch. This watch, wow. yeah. Toblerone's another like good one. Like the Omega? Yeah. Toblerone is definitely another good one. But yeah, it's all about the red band. You need to get a Hulk on the red. This is the ultimate Rolex Hulk. Can, can you find it? The the Kevin O'Leary Hulk? I can't. Red. I like the Hulk. I've always thought about putting a white band on the Hulk. Oh, the one on the green band. Good job. What do you think? This Go is on. as good as it gets. This is the god tier. This is the grail <laughs> level festival no, watch right here. Uh, that's, yeah. This is as good as it gets and as good as it will ever get. <laughs> it's definitely uh, you know, Christmas. The black, the, the black sub, sure. The green, I don't know. It's just a little much for me, man. Hey, it's red and green. That's that's perfect. Yeah, festive. technically, yes, you're right. The server. <laughs> But guys, I didn't want to do too long of a stream. I just wanted to do a quick one, just a quick hour. Say hello to everybody. Pop in. Uh, I think I might do another stream Thursday. JJ, I know you wanted to do the fragrance chat, right, this Thursday? And he's gone. Yes. But yeah, I think I think JJ – oh, hold on. Pull up the photo from JJ's WhatsApp. Yep, give me one second. JJ, come back. You can blame it on me. Oh, yes. I like it. Here we go. Give me one minute. I need to pull this up. Pull this up. It's cool, man. Don't everybody talk at once, guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> Check out the... Uh... <clears throat> Check out the message. <laughs> yeah, so I'm wonder wondering what uh, anything to add. Uh, anyone on uh, on the panel or in the comments there? We got the the streamception. You see, look at that. Nice. Ooh. That's how it's done. The white dial C master on a red band as it's being projected on the screen. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah. It's nice that it's nice to know that, that you know people are putting it on. I put one of the streams on the flat on the flat screen. Um, I think while I was streaming, I had the stream going on in the uh, on a on a sixty five inch panel. But that's just me. I mean, I know it's a little strange, but <laughs> you know, hey, says, you know, get it, get oh, it shit. is what it is. Yeah, you got You got to love yourself first, guys. Let me, Marco. I can't believe I forgot this one. Danger just reminded me. Kudoki karaoke. There's a kudoki, a green dial kudoki that he made. Oh, this, okay. There we go. These are very I like kudoki, man. This could definitely be on it. Yeah. Kudoki. Oh, hold on. Yep. Design. Let me get that for you. Alrighty. Go ahead and post the link. Yeah, I'm gonna nice. pull up. Uh, I'm gonna pull up. What's it called? Super chat. This right Super here. Chat. Super chat. Oh. Super chat. Super chat. Uh, he has a vid. Uh, Jeff saying fragrance check. I'm actually wearing something new. I don't want to reveal it yet because I'll reveal it on JJ's Friday night fragrance talk, or it might be Thursday. I'm not sure. We got little 79 with the 109 knock. Thank you very much for the super chat. Very kind of you. Knock, saying knock. Thanks for the good advice and a magic streaming year. You guys, Tim, Nico, Todd have made it a great year. Thanks. Thanks to you, man. Wouldn't be possible without the viewers. Would not be possible. Of course. Without the viewers. Yes. Thanks, little seventy nine. Oh, goodness gracious! And, and okay, what's that? Can I not pull this up? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. 
I got to sing it while I do it. Right. <laughs> Are you ready? JJ, come back. You can blame it all on me. <laughs> you put on – oh, you can't put on – does it have uh, – JJ, come va- back. You can blame it all on me. <laughs> Does it no, have? No. Can we hear the audio of them or no? No, like, I don't think there's any audio. Okay. Oh wait, it's muted. Hold on. Put the, put 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 them back up. You're gonna get a copyright strike, but probably. Okay, let me turn that off. But yeah, probably yeah, probably will. Eh, it's all good. You you didn't get to it's the part cool where it said, man. "Baby, come back." Right. No, no, that, that was it. We got Orange Hand saying Chicken made a Santa Joker guessing you already covered. Yeah, that was definitely yeah. that definitely had to be part of it. Yeah. Yeah, Why of course. There a, were a ton of people who also contributed, right? Do, do a replay, like uh the whole list top to bottom, right? Sure, like, sure, sure. All the picks of twenty twenty one. Here we go. We got the Jago Lacool for Reverso, the Green Burgundy. We got the IWC Big Pilot Chrono. With um, the green dial, the Portuguese with the red and the green dial, the Moser dual time with that burgundy dial. We got the Seamaster Snoopy, the Rainbow Daytona. The jury's actually no, the I jury's not out. I think this is cool. This can definitely be a festive mm, watch. Yeah, that looks like the lights on a, a Christmas tree. You know what yes. I mean? Absolutely. It, and it looks like an ornament that you would hang on a Christmas tree at the same time. So. We got the Hulk. I think this one's got to be cut. Sorry, Cap. The Hulk. The Hulk ain't making the list. As long as the Daytona is on there, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm with you. And I'm not the even France a really big Snowflake Daytona and the fan. Birch. Yep. That yep. makes it. That's got to make it. Yep. I think the jury's still out on this one. Mm-hmm. Both. The gone? jury's. Yeah, I don't. I don't think this is going to well, make the cut. Let's put it this way, though. Yes. They came out. During the holiday season, right? So for that reason, I would keep the uh, Tiffany dial one. Right. Just for this yeah. year. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. This has got to make the cut. I mean, it's literally the Santa watch. These ones probably don't make the cut. They can't make the cut. Sorry. Uh, no, this one was a stretch. And then the double tune, double tune. And the, the any, pretty much any Aventurine dial watch. Actually, so Swiss, you know when Jonathan is getting because he was talking about it uh, on Pro Stream. Do we know when he's getting his watch? Which one? Adrian <laughs> Anderson Genev. Because that'll technically be a festive watch, right? Uh, yeah. Um, he's getting it. Um, well, basically next time he, because he has to go get it in Hong Kong for oh, yes, uh, you sure. know for um. For taxes, or I don't know. For he he, he prefers to get it um, in Hong Kong. So next time he would go over there, probably he would pick it up like that. But yeah, basically he did secure the watch. I don't see it, Todd. He's saying one six two hundred with red Roman numerals and jubilee. I don't. Huh. Is this actually a watch Rolex made? I don't know. That, no, no, no. That's the one then. This one, right? It's oh, got this Roman one numerals. Here? Red dial. No, the one with the Roman numerals. Yeah, you had it already. You had it up. The red yeah. Roman numerals. This one right that here? One. No, no, top that corner, one. top left corner. No, no, this one. Right there. I don't know. This looks aftermarket. This looks it? aftermarket, yeah. Yeah, this looks totally aftermarket. Um, huh. Unless it's not aftermarket. No, oh, it is totally aftermarket. Yeah, it totally looks aftermarket. There's no way. JJ, come back. You could blame it all on me. But yeah, in any case, guys, I did want to wrap up the stream. I didn't want to do too long of a stream. I just wanted to do a quick list of some festive watches for you guys. I did promise to pump out some content, but I've been I've been kind of lazy. I got a collection review coming up, hopefully tomorrow. Um, 
So, yeah, stay tuned for that. That should be pretty interesting, guys. I want to thank the captain, Swiss, Wings and Watches, and, of course, JJ for joining me here tonight. I'm going to drop the link if anybody wants to join the after show. Oh, JJ, I wanted to ask, are you still doing the fragrance? Not on Friday, but Thursday? JJ, come back. Yeah, I could do the first one on Thursday. It's going to be um, starting the new year, uh, Fragrance Friday. Uh, uh, What is it um, Friday night fragrance talk. There you go. Marco remembers better than I do. But uh, yeah, we could give it a test run this Thursday for sure. Sweet. Because I got a couple I got a couple of things to unbox, JJ. All right. Sounds good. Let's do it. Sweet. All righty, guys. We'll see you guys in the next one. If anybody wants to jump on the after show, feel free. Take care, everybody. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas and all the best in the new year if I don't see you. But I'm sure I will be seeing you before the new year. So take care, everybody. Take care.